Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Snowing out here a little bit today, but otherwise pretty good. So, uh, close this down again, try to keep her heat in. I uh, haven't done uh, any work since the other day on this project. Um, I see a lot of you guys were definitely, definitely, definitely leaning towards the 60-40 uh, split thingy which I totally agree with, so I'm going to uh, remeasure all this here and uh, start mounting her there, I guess, to the 60-40. 60 front, 40 back. Um, that way when we load, we'll have the axle back a little further here. I can move her with one hand. I have to measure yet though, but somewhere's it's going to stay there. It's not going to stay there. <laughs> but anyways, it's not going to stay there for some reason. Um, rolling. Wheels roll. Look at that. Um, it's going right back to where it went. But anyways, the 60-40, we're going to measure 60% on the front and 40 on the back. So when we do load, it won't... Uh, have so much of a lever action, if you know what I mean. Uh, you guys pretty much, you guys know what I mean. So if you if you put her, you know, say this was the front and this was the back, we would have quite a bit of rotation uh, leverage with the weight coming on, and uh, it would just kind of up on the tractor. Might even pick the rear of the tractor on the ground, off the ground. I don't know if it would or not, but um, I potentially could. So. Uh, we'll have to measure here and do a 60-40 split, and then we'll uh, we'll reevaluate that idea, and uh, that'll probably probably change where the the beams will all go across. But uh, I think that was probably going to get changed anywho. So uh, let me get some measuring going here and some frigger in, and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so we got of course 90 inch. We got our seven feet plus the other three on the front and the back which makes 90 so 84 plus 84 my eyeballs aren't working 84 plus another 6 is 90 so that would make 60 percent forward 54 inch 54 inches okay let me grab a square Four inch should be our 60% forward, 40% rear. Okay. So let's mark that on each side here. So that would be 54. So that will be the center. Well, thank you. The center of our axle right here, roughly. Okay, so let's grab our tape measure again. Go down that 54 as well here. check our measurements here. I'm going to take my trusty Dewey here and uh, <coughs> we're going to measure from the other end now. So we want to go 40 presidents of 90 inch which gives us a grand total of 36 inches, 3 feet. So we measure from down here. We are Smack dab on three three feet. So that's our 60-40 split there. Oop, stay there, you turn. Come on. Three feet. Okay, so now just to make sure that you know if nothing's perfectly bang on, I'm gonna actually just measure from 
the steel, we've got 33. If this one's 33, we should be squared the other way too. Bang on. Let's double check our measurements here again, of course. We got 51. And and 51. Okay. So that is good. That gets us uh, a nice square thingy. Now we got to figure out how the crap I'm going to uh, drill these things. This is going to be the, I think, the trickiest part. So if that's going to be a, our our 6040 front rear. Kind of weird thing is, I guess that'll work. I'm just trying to imagine the, the Mini X sitting here. Um, just trying to imagine the Mini X, the Mini X sitting beside here, and roughly where it will sit. Because if I have a load of dirt in the front. I'm just going to measure that thing again. Hang on a sec. Okay, so from the very front of the blade to the very back of where the track curls around is about five feet. So, <laughs> uh, of course the pile of dirt that I've dug will be up here, and sometimes that'll be more, sometimes less. It all depends, you know, if I dig down on top of a vault and the vault's only a couple of feet deep, that happens. Then we've got uh, not much dirt, but if I dig down, you know, and it's pretty good digging, but then it starts to cave in and stuff like that, then it's gonna, you know, be kind of kind of crappy. So, worst case scenario. Now I'm going to uh, the outside of the beans here will actually be the outside of the the trail. What I'm going to do is run up some. Maybe a two by two or a one by whatever inch and a half by inch and a half stuff right up the sides. Okay, so the beam, those little pieces, actually, I probably got a chunk here we could actually demonstrate that with. Hang on a second, Mike. So on the front of the trailer, I probably just need a rack, system Minky. So we'll use this little two by two here as it's not going to be that high. Well, you know what? It might, no, it probably won't be that high. I just need a, a bit of a wall up here so when I dump the dirt in it just doesn't out the side, right? Uh, exactly how far down it's going to have to come, I don't know, but it's probably not going to be the whole length of the trailer. It might come to maybe the axles. I, I don't know yet. Uh, so this will be uh, plywooded and then plywooded on the inside too. So we're going to lose, well the sides don't have to be three quarter ply, that's for sure. They can be. Uh, Boy, even quarter inch would probably be lots for that. I don't know, something. Uh, but then I'm going to definitely do a three-quarter ply floor for the weight of the machine and the dirt and stuff, longevity and stuff. Uh, I could do steel. I know you guys are saying, oh, do steel, do steel. But if for some reason you ever had to replace a steel floor, it's a heck of a lot more work to get that out than just chopping out some screws and putting a new piece of wood down. So I'm thinking wood would be a little lighter too. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to keep it a little lighter. But uh, so far, man, we got a trailer built here for hauling the transport truck, I think. But anyways, that's, no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, so these are going to come out to here. So we'll say, I think most times my other trailer, I don't know, this one's a little wider too. So it's going to hold a little more. So I think if it came down to here, and say the wall ended here or something, this was your dirt area. So when I drive that Mini X up on here, it's going to go right to the end here. And the five feet four, ooh, five's right there. Now I could probably leave. That's going to be hanging the the butt of the thing off the end a little bit too. But most of the weight will be sort of kind of on the wheel area. Could even put that axle back a little more too. But I really don't want to do that because I really want to still have it able to tip with that three point hitch, right? But uh, you know I could also uh, well. Boy, 
have to figure something out here. There, there might be actually a little more room up here. The five feet here might be all right. Because it's wider trailer here, it's going to hold it a little wider. Now it's going to spill down a little bit, but I can also drive up and then, you know, put the blade down a little bit and the pile up a bit too, right? So I think that kind of idea should work pretty good. Okay. So, <laughs> now the fun begins. i got to somehow drill these suckers here and, uh, boy, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to really set that up yet. I might have to set up a bit of a holding jig or something too because I want to put them together, get them lined up, bang on perfect, and then uh, drill through both of them at the same time. So when I drill my big holes, I've already got pilot holes and then we'll be ready to, you know, be should be lined up. Although, if it's out of, you know, a hair, I don't really think it's going to matter. Like, if it was one tire coming up here and the other one, like, up there, yeah, that might be a problem. But I think we'll get her fairly, fairly close here. So we got a little bit of finagling, I guess we'll call it here, get her onto the drill press here. All right, I think this is the craziest, hugest thing I've ever had to drill before. So uh, it should be fun. Uh, He's out a hair a little bit on his cutting, which is that's fine, that's that'll work. Still be, that'll still be good. Uh, it's just I got her pretty much level here. Pretty much square flat there, but then down here we've got uh, oh millimeter hang over, I guess. That's not uh, Extraordinarily too critical though, so, so I just want to make sure that they're together. Remember close this here. Let's go to hair. Uh, but I may be, uh, you know, fighting over a zillion some an inch that doesn't really matter too much. That'll be pretty good. Okay, uh, somewhere I had another clamp. Uh oh, there it is. Looking right at it. These are the clamps that I use to uh, hold down the uh, top of my leaf collector uh, box thing you got. Staying good. Now, boy, boy, this is a super long bit I've got here, so we're going to have to down a floor, I think. Down a floor. Um, let me just double check and make sure nothing else moved. Pretty good. We'll check this in, too. I think the steel itself isn't bang, bang, bang on perfect, so... Uh, yeah, so that's a fairly long bit. They just don't think like a normal bit. I might have got, well, I wouldn't get through both, so we got this uh, huge, huge, it's got to be, got to be over a foot, this thing. Uh, and it's a, what the heck was it called? A cobalt. So hopefully she's good. Now, just before I figure out where we're going to drill, <laughs> I need to figure out the center of where our axle is going to be here. Man, was I ever stupid. <laughs> I was looking for that uh, 2 and 3 eighths hole saw. This guy that I got the other day, I'm like, I know I got one. I got another thing too with it. What did I get? I remember what I got. I'm like, okay, whoa. I'm looking for this, right? Where the frick did it go? 
looking, I'm looking, I'm looking around here. I'm like, okay, maybe I left it in the truck. Went left in the truck. No, nope, not there. Maybe I brought it in my house. No, nope, not there. I'm like, oh, come on, really? So I come down, looked around here again, looked around. You know, it's not super organized, but it's not as bad as it was. Looking around, looking around, looking around. I'm like, wow, oh, there's my, uh, there's, whoa, where did it go? There's the other one I got for the other axle. Oh, well, that's not it. What the freaking crap? So I'm looking around, looking around, looking around. I'm like, no, I couldn't, couldn't seriously be under. For some reason, I put it under here like that and the tire over top. Of course, you look at that. Oh, it's not there. Never look underneath. I'm like, okay, I gotta look underneath. Oh, well, look at that. There it is. Now it's on the floor. So, anyways, ah, oh, man, we got her. <laughs> so we got to use this thing to um, kind of look and see where our axle tube is going to sit. I need to get a pair of squ squizzers here first and uh, squizzer this apart. This is one of those packages that you know you never. And reuse again, so that sort of sucks. Now this, this, uh, this uh, hole saw isn't a isn't a ice hardened one. I noticed, and uh, well, I've had pretty good luck with those ice hardened ones. So, all right, now how the frick do we do this? Now where do we want this to be? Well, that of course is our center. So we'll say that's center. And I want the axle to have, now the way I change this, it's going to make it sit higher or lower, right? If I go right to the top, it's going to make the, the bed go a bit lower to the ground. But I don't want to have to cut through this, so I'm going to have to at least go down in about here somewhere so it clears all this, this radius, because it actually ends like here. It actually ends like here. So I'm going to have to go somewhere in about there, I guess. And uh, boy, boy, how do I measure? Now, let me see here. This is our uh, little dewey that goes on here. That thing just threads in, locks down. So if I can, if I can get pretty much accurately measured right in the center of this this thing here that'll be our drill spot for our pilots so I'm looking down the line it's looking pretty good there I got her back a little bit because this is gonna want to cut a little wider actually I probably should do it this way it's pretty much the same it's just these teeth have a bit of set to it right so set is I don't know if you can see on there. See how the tooth is kind of out past the side and inside a bit? That way it clears a good wide path for the rest of the bit to get down through. So if you don't have set on there, it's going to be a friggin' nightmare. So we're going to go about there. Now I don't have a really good light here to see what the heck I'm doing. But... Goodness, I don't have enough light. Wonder if I've got a light somewhere. Just so happened I do. It's almost too much light, light though. Let's turn her down a notch. There. Um, okay, so we're gonna say our center. Yeah, pretty close. You know, a millimeter here and there is really not gonna make a difference for the big trailer, so. So we'll try to drill her there, right through both Deweys. And, uh, right through my table probably too. <laughs> well, hopefully not, but. Okay, let's get you guys back here a little bit. And, uh, it's definitely gonna be enough bit, I think. Holy crap, I don't even know if my drill press will go down that much. I might have to cut a little bit of the bit off of here. Might have to cut a little bit off the bit. Okay. Need to go down a little bit more with the table. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I got enough drill press. 
should. Should be able to go that deep. I'm just glad my drill press goes down that far. Okay, so now we gotta line up the uh, so I don't drill into my boy boy. Uh oh, so I'm gonna have to drill a bit first and then come back up. Have a bit started in the hole. Now I'm a little bit leery of this because this is uh, yeah, that's what I figured was gonna happen. It's gonna be a little floppy on this end, so I gotta figure out a little bit more weight for something for this end here. Uh, what can I put on here that's heavy? Got a couple tires. Those might help. Okay. Now, let's lock this table a bit too here. Okay. Probably should have my gloves on. And some safety, safety dewies. Safety dewies go. Safety dewies. I usually have thousands of them laying around here. Seriously? Really? <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta find safety dewies. Alright, so here we go. You can see I got some tires on the back side here. Hopefully that'll uh, hold it a little bit. That's a little better. A little floppy on the left to right here, though. Come down to here more. Not too far, of course. Oh, not too far that way. Hit win. So I just want to check something here. Um, hmm. Before I start drilling, I just want to check and make sure my table's level here. So my table's way off. I don't know if I like that too much. I don't really think I can adjust that idea, that out of her. Well, how's our bean looking then? My level's not level. How do you level a level? And we just have to come up a, a little bit on that end, but I don't think this table uh, table moves like that. Hmm. Quite a, quite a weight on there, so, well, hopefully, uh, oh boy, I don't know what to say. It's just a hair bit out, but, I don't really want to add anything to this end. Maybe I can slide my square steel under here. I'm gonna bring her up a bit better. That's bang on perfect there. Okay. Well, it drills straight. Don't want to put hardly any push down on this thing though because it's such a long bit I don't think it would take much to get her out of whack. And yes I'm drilling without any uh, fluid stuff. And I'll probably even drill the other one without fluid stuff. I'll show you what I'll do with that. 
could probably put the speed up a little faster on this too, but. Bang through the first one already. guys able to see what we're doing here. Let's uh, take it down a little bit maybe here and get you in a little bit closer on the action. Of course you won't see much action now because we're through the first piece already. Working on the side of the other piece. Breaking through. Well, these cobalts are pretty nice. I'm actually to my limit there now, so that sucks going to have to come up in the world a little bit. Come up through. start the next one and then I can just take this apart here and then just drill the next one normally. Feeling pretty good. Let's check my level again here. It's not gonna really matter now, but perfect. Perf perfect. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't drill into my Everything's good here. We got the piece level. Good. We got her clamped down a few places on each side. And I think we got the. Let's just run it slow here and see if it. Seems to have the gauge there pretty good. 
so um, now I'm gonna use air. I know you guys are saying, oh, you should use a uh, freaking uh, cutting fluid. Yes, but I have found with cutting fluid that uh, it seems to get down in the groove and it just kind of sits there and it doesn't actually cut. It just turns into like a, a metally mud where this, if you just keep going like that, blowing, it'll blow the chunks out and it doesn't get that muddy mess down there. It cools the bit a little bit too. We might need lube. Okay, I need earplugs, that's for sure. Holy cow, I may not be able to film too much of this for you guys, but that's uh, pretty brutally loud. Holy cow. Hang on, I gotta get earplugs. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna be that loud. That's gonna suck. Yeah, I should use a mag drill for this really, I don't have one though. See that, uh, that bit's not even warm, I'm holding my hand on it, it's not even warm, and uh, it's hardly chipped the paint off it. Now if I was doing that with just the goo, I think it, it would have been a lot worse. So that's not, it's not too bad. So uh, I'm going to drill the other ones, it's going to be kind of loud, I won't put you through that, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we're good. Let's see, uh, looks like we're, we're pretty good on the sidewall there too. I don't think I can really show you right yet, but we'll have a look after here. I'll get the rest of these drilled and uh, show you how we uh, made out. I bet you if I was, I, I, I bet you, I bet you, 
I bet you, if I was drilling that with liquid stuff, I'd probably be on maybe the third one by now. I don't know what it is. For years and years and years, everybody said, oh, you got to use cotton fluid on that. You know what? I think they're wrong. I think that they were wrong. Because I don't use cotton fluid and the bit never heats up. It never turns into that muddy, slurry crap. And uh, bang, I'm done. I, I bet you I would have been on my, uh, on my third still. So there you go. So now we got these cool little round discs. I'm just gonna get this thing off of here. Oh, goodness. Oh. And plus, you know, you get that slimy, muddy mess. And then you get the slimy, muddy mess, and then you get uh, all the goo all over everything, which isn't nice. And then you, you get, you know, it just makes a mess. Where this, that I think, you know, that cut through pretty darn, pretty darn good. Look at this one right, right through the, the inside well. That one's still a little warm. These ones are all cold. Now they look like little train wheels now. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They got like a little the disky piece. But yeah, that one's, uh, you can see the welded joint there. Kind of cool. I don't know how the heck they weld inside of like I got. They must have a little long thing that just, I don't know, heat done maybe or something. But So there we go. That uh, drilled in pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. So these are, of course, that's probably a half a pound right there. <laughs> so pull this apart again and I only had a couple of slips there too I was surprised but I think even too if you if you if you oil it up if you oil it up you get the slipping more because I think that slipped like twice on me where I pushed down a little bit too hard and it grabs on a tooth and it just you know as a safety thing it uh, stops stops the drive so I don't know I'm kind of almost totally against the uh, only bad totally against the uh, spraying crap on it but uh, another oops sorry another good thing is my showroom isn't full of smoke <laughs> sometimes she starts smoking right and you get all that going so I don't have the smoke which is nice all right I think we're absolutely bang on perfect here so I got a little hair of a lip just in behind you might be able to see her hang on Ooh, we're gonna need some more Lumiere's. Lumiere's. Lighty stuff. Light thingies. So you can just see I got just a perfect amount down from, uh, I think that'll be perfect. They're both bang on, so I presume that if you line them up, they would be both uh, pretty much bang on. Looks like they're pretty close here. So I guess we'll take these back out. Now we've got to figure what we're going to do for an axle stuff here. Run the axle through this and then uh, figure our cross pieces too, I guess. All right. I didn't get too much further here. Uh, I've pretty much spent the day with my buddy there. He brought a big, oh, well, one of those crappy little, I don't know what you call them, little snowblowers over with a little chute kind of thing. Uh, he got her free from his work and uh, needed a bit of work, so I gave him a hand with it and uh, pretty much killed my day. So <laughs> I didn't get too much further ahead. Oh, well. But anyways, we got stuff ready and aligned, roughly. <sighs> but I wanted to get a lot more done today, but I just didn't get to her. So that kind of blows, but uh, I think what I'm going to do... Because I'm going to be welding a bunch uh, to this axle and stuff here, I'm going to actually take the hubs and stuff all apart, pull everything off, and uh, it'll be a little bit easier, I think, when I shove it in. Because now I got you know the hubs; it's going to sit, make the trailer sit weird. So I'm going to pull these tires all off here again, and uh, take the axle, and we'll take the hubs apart. All righty, let's pull out some. Hose. Hose. Oh, gee, sorry. 
I just about took you out. My apologies. I didn't put these on very tight, but uh... so I don't probably have to take all these hubs apart. But uh... one, two, three, four, five. I think I think it'd be better if I did do that because I don't want to cook the seals and stuff when I'm welding this. But this is going to need some fairly abusive welding. Abrasive welding. So I've got three different sizes of tires, so I can switch tires around if I, uh, you know, feel up so inclined to. Okay, let's pull this big fella into, I guess, into the vise. Okay, so these have uh, nice lubricating hubs, which is nice. Now this should pop off of here. Not much grease in there though. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll have to try to get this bent out again here. pins so not too worried. <clears throat> so geez did they even put any grease in this? I'd be quite surprised if there was any grease. Probably not very much. Well there should be a little washer. It should just pull right off of here. and the bearings. I like to get this bearing to just to flop right into the cup here again, but um, well, there's a little bit of grease in there, but uh -oh. just uh, barely greased really. I would probably be pouring a little more to her than that. So uh, I'm kind of curious because I've never actually seen how one of these really work. I've never had one apart. But it's, since they're using that red bearing grease, that's good. So that grease is... Where do they have it coming in, I wonder? That greases up in here. I see a hole there. Is that seriously it? Well, one way to find out. Let's put a bit of grease to it. Wow, that's really all that grease us? That's kind of weird. I guess that makes sort of sense though. It would uh, grease to the back. It would hit that seal and just kind of keep forward. That's why it takes so, so long. Okay, so that's good. Um, Kind of like, kind of like the ideas of that. It's a good, uh, 
good little system there, I think. It's uh, pretty cool. So we'll probably uh, get this clean enough here and then put something around it and put some, some tape or something around it. I don't know if... I think these are for brakes. If I'm thinking right. You have to put like a backer plate on here and then like a drum, I guess. I think that's what that's for. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, so I'm going to have to grind off these. The purchases here and off each side. They're not welded on the inside, so that's good. This, I don't know if this is going to be in the way or not. Probably be alright because I think the, uh, the trailer is going to end about here somewhere roughly. And then welded that three inches. Then I'm going to leave another whatever inches up further here for the second support. So she should be all good. Let's give her a flip and we'll take this hub apart as well. And I'm just about out of battery life here. Darn it, I should have brought my bigger battery. Come on, you turd. But I must say, these uh, greasing systems are way better than having to take everything all out. Do it by hand, because the rear bearings on these are buried in behind the seal. So you pretty much have to wreck that seal, because they're in there pretty tight. That's this thing here. To get that rear bearing out, to clean it up and re-grease it and stuff. Now you can just pour the grease to her and uh, drive on, which is kind of cool. Seems like everything's coming now with these kind of hubs on them. But like I was saying, I probably don't have to take these off. But there's going to be quite a chunk of heat poured to these, and I don't really want to cook the bearings and you know, loosen up all the grease in here and wreck the seals. So we'll just uh, pop them out. Look at the way that one came out. There's a fair bit of grease on there, but I, I'd like to see a little thicker amount of grease on the inside there. There's not a whole lot sitting in that area, so. Right. Clean this off, and I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do today. That snow blower needed a fair bit of work. Uh, what did we do to it? I should have recorded that too, but I kind of didn't want to mix up videos and stuff, you know. But I guess we could have made a whole separate video. But that's all right. That snow blower was pretty rough shape. The, uh, the auger, we had to weld the auger a little bit to it. It had actually broke uh, the main first, first auger. It had actually broke quite a bit. So. Okay, so that's pretty good. Brandy nice and new looking. All nice and sharp still and stuff. Uh, wore out. But I definitely should, because this is a this is a bearing surface here, I think. Well, this one here, that's the seal surface. That's a bearing surface there. This is just the inner inner stuff. So I'll find something to put over those, maybe just to protect them from getting dinged or something. Uh, just I don't know something. All right, so this probably isn't the best kind of stuff for you know like fire resistance -y kind of stuff, but it's all I got, so. And that's all you got, that's all you got. But I don't think it's gonna get wicked hot here. It, it might, it, it might get a little warm. You know, I might just weld the one side or half of the one side first and then do the other sides. 
and then come back to this side, finish this side, kind of thing. That should protect for anything, you know, bing, ding and off it or whatever have you. Whatever have you say, yeah. Uh, so, I guess that's about her. I, that's all I can do today, unfortunately. Sorry, it wasn't kind of what I was really wanting to do, but I uh, really wanted to get her to a rolling chassis today, but it uh, didn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, what? What am I gonna do? I gotta kinda roughly figure out where I wanna mount the other piece in here so I know where to kinda cut it. I'll do that tomorrow, I guess. That's it, that's all I can do today. So you remember a week or so ago, we used the, oh, it's kinda a little hard now. Use the uh, construction glue, we just did a 29. Oh, it just peels right off. There you go, you make letters with your construction glue. It's uh, it's like a plastic, I think. Actually, they call it poly something or another. Oh, does break though. Apparently, it's kind of cool. It's got little air bubble things in it. So I don't, I don't know why I needed that. I just kind of, you know, whatever. And one of these days, I will give you what the twenty nine means. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I guess that's about it for me today. I gotta get rocking. It's like frickin' 5.30 already. As you can maybe see when I open the door. Oh, it's maybe not quite 5.30. I'm looking at my 5.04. So, a little almost darkish. So, getting darkish. It's actually, the days are getting longer now, which is nice, so. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get out of here. So I'm almost thinking that uh, I don't probably have to go in too far, maybe like a foot or something, but I'm almost even thinking of just welding in a square thing and not drilling a hole through it, like these ones, and just butt it up to it and then just weld to it. I think that'd be tons, tons of strength there. So uh, yeah, we should be, I think, good. So um, some of you were thinking that it might have been kind of weak in the middle now drilling that hole but you got to remember I'm going to weld on this side and on the other side too so she should be good and then I'm going to run it through to the cross piece going this way and weld to there I think that's I'm just going to butt it on I think so this now I could probably pretty darn near almost weld this thing together I think as one solid framey dewey get these of course, lined up where they're supposed to be and stuff, but, uh, but yeah, so there we go. Kind of wish I kind of could put my tractor in, but uh, she's supposed to snow a bit tonight, but I'll just have to clean her off in the morning, I guess. But I don't really want to kind of disturb all that stuff in there right now until I get her. I, sh I was what I was planning on doing was getting this all welded up today, and then uh, I'd be uh, good to go. So. I could have pushed it off to the side and then put this thing in tonight, but it didn't work that way, so... Anyways, Buddy needed a hand, I helped him out, so that was good. We did a, a team effort on her, and uh, she's uh, she's good to go again, so... Uh, but anyways, that's, I guess, it for, for me for today, so thanks again for watching. And we'll catch yous, catch yous later. And uh, we'll get to work on that. A little bit tomorrow. I'm gonna probably have a bit of snow to do, but uh, it's all right. We can do that too. So, our long, huge commute home here, and uh, we'll be looking pretty good. It's a huge commute. I think I might get over a thousand RPM running her home. <laughs> So there's a, I got a funeral call today. I'm almost out of time here. Funeral call today for the section just opposite the garage here. Oh, it's gonna be a friggin' nightmare because it's a huge mass of stone. I got stone, I gotta somehow move. So that's gonna suck. <laughs> but anyways, I hope the tractor will move it. Either that or I'm just gonna have to hook a chain and just try to slide her up out of the way so I can get in to dig. Because of course it's 
Grave three or four, and they put the stone right in the middle, so that's right in the middle of the stone. So, but anyways. It's the way she goes. This lady was 106, I think she was. 106 or 5 or 6, she, the guy was telling me today, so... That's pretty darn old. If I get to half that age, I'll be, I'll be amazed. Myself. So, yeah, honestly, oof, the way I'm going here, holy... <laughs> But anyways, that's it. I'm out of battery. Darn stupid thing. I'll bring my bigger battery maybe tomorrow. I don't want to worry about it so much. So, or a second battery. And uh, yeah, so so far these new cards are working good for the uh, these SanDisk cards. No problems. Now I haven't... Yes, I have used one in the GoPro. And funny enough, it actually ejects... You know, it's like a tiny little wee... It actually ejects better out of the GoPro than the Lexar cars do. Don't ask me. Maybe a different size or something, but... Anyways, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow for, I guess, trailer build number two.